Things that make sense on an aircraft carrier, part two. For starters, we got flight ops, the main event. It's like trying to coordinate a family reunion, except everybody's got jet fuel and an attitude. Next up, we've got a Raz. And if you've ever been on that working party, we've officially trauma bonded. But it's like a Walmart curbside pickup, except you're in the middle of the ocean and you gotta do the whole thing yourself. Next, we got non-skid. Think of it like grip tape, except on the ship. And the only thing keeping you from cha-cha sliding all over the deck. Next up, we've got mail call. And it is the only time in your life you'll ever see anybody get excited about mail. Care packages hit like that stimulus check back in 2020. Next up, we got aircraft elevators. Basically, it's a service elevator on steroids that can lift fighter jets. Next up, we've got standing watch. It's like pulling an all-nighter, but instead of studying, you're making sure the ship doesn't blow up. Next up, we got galley food. Think of it as your mystery meat Monday, but you're gonna eat it anyways because there's just nowhere else to go. Next up, we got red lights. It's like being in a horror film, except you're tripping over knee knockers and looking real dumb in the dark. Next up, we got the birthing, where everyone is in everyone's business. It's like a men's locker room, except you sleep in it too. Privacy? Never heard of her. And last, we got getting into your rack. It's like Tetris, except it's human size.